Hey everyone, Futurama for Life here, and this is Metro 2033 Ranger Hardcore Difficulty, uh, Chapter 6, D6, uh, D6 Part 2. Um, so, once you get off that um, train, uh, I don't know what the hell it's called, elevator, um, lift, or I don't know what the fuck it's called, um, kind of run over that one little motorized train um there's some ammo to pick up there and um kinda turn the the handle on that one to get that door open and um So far, no, not any combat yet, but we will be um, getting some combat uh, in a couple minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, grab some ammo and some Bibles. Um, Uh, come in here, um, kind of funny, uh, that one is filled with a bunch of copies of Metro 2033, and there's some ammo on that, uh, little stand. And, uh, when you come into this room, kind of go to this right side, because there is a shit ton of ammo in this area. Um, and some air filters and a gas mask if... For some reason, you need a new one. Um, unfortunately, on Ranger Hardcore, that huge ammo stash doesn't give you a whole lot of ammo, but it does give you a fair amount. Um, and, oh yeah, over here, um, if you don't recognize what that is that's kind of like I think they were paying a uh, homage to Wally -E, um, how Wally -E had the little boot with uh, with uh, the plant life in it um, I didn't even know about that I saw someone's random video on YouTube and I was like wow that is very random that if you're not paying attention you would completely miss that little um that little thing so i wanted to make sure for this this recording i actually showed that off um but uh coming up here is um the introduction of a new enemy type called amoebas and they're pretty easy to kill and this was the reason why um, I said to pick up that uh, Boris's assault rifle since it has scope on it um, unless of course you've at some point bought a scoped weapon then I wouldn't have worried about it but because the way to fight these things are from a distance um, because in the next area you and Miller are going through um, a lower area that's for those things and the low um, pods that they spawn from so using um, the distance between you and the scope you can easily um, destroy the pods so they don't um, spawn any more amoebas and um, there's an achievement for killing I believe it's five five or ten amoebas and the achievement name I have no idea how you pronounce it but um it's for killing 
five or ten of them and it's pretty easy to get it especially if um, you just purposely kind of like walk forward towards one of those pods just to like as soon as it starts to spawn just kind of move back and just shoot at it but um I actually um no not in this area it was the, the next level that I almost uh got owned by some of them but uh come over here and uh there's another good ammo stash to pick up and uh, for this area it seems like um, once you move forward a certain point then Miller will move up because there's certain points where he like wasn't really moving forward because I hadn't uh, walked I don't know over the invisible line to make him move forward but um Oh, I don't think you, I, I didn't really make it clear, but, um, at this point, because I was so low on regular ammo, I actually went and switched out to, uh, my military grade ammo to deal with these things, um, just because of how low my ammo was, I was gonna have to switch over to it, so, but, yeah, these things are just, like, all over the place, on the ground, on the wall, um, so, like right now, Miller isn't moving because I haven't moved up uh, far enough for him to start walking. So, um, just kind of use the distance to your advance to destroy these pods, um, unless you're trying to get the f 5 or 10 amoeba kills for the achievement. Um, and, uh, I will see you in the next, uh, level. Ага, вот он. Надеюсь, он еще работает. Так загадил поляну. 